Latter-day Saints are really interested in if this is the place where Nephi built the ship. And if that's the case, what we want to know is 2,600 years ago, what was the foliage like? Were there trees large enough to build a ship, large enough and plentiful enough? And you can tell us, how in the world would you do that? Well, that is a task for pollen analysis. That is exactly the tool we need. So I have taken sediment samples so that I can look into the signature of the vegetation in the past. And pollen from trees travels particularly well on the wind, so we'll get a good sampling of the trees growing in the entire region here. Um, up on the slopes and down in the wadis because it will all move around and we'll be able to see that signature over and over in each of the pits that we've sampled but through pollen analysis we will be building a record of the past landscape vegetation and from that we can look into the properties of the wood of each of the types of trees represented and determine from that the size of the trees the qualities of the wood and whether or not that could have been used to build a ship. So we can't just look at what the vegetation is like today and say, boy, this is a pretty green place usually, and so this must be the place. We really have to understand that it changes over time. Is that right? Yes, it does. And, um, and there are events in the past that made the climate slightly different than the climate of today. And I would anticipate about 2,600 years ago was wetter than it is today. So we're, we're hoping, we're looking for that signature. So if it was wetter than it is today, then we're probably looking at more foliage, more trees, something that's even more substantial. Yes, we are. And also um, whether or not the distribution of rainfall was the same or different in the past. Mm -hmm. And to some extent, that will be represented in the vegetation. So it'll be an exciting journey to get there. Oh, that is an exciting journey, and we'll all be wondering so much. And can you date this vegetation so you know if it was 2,600 years ago or not? Or does it happen to be the sediment that it happens to be in? Is that how you date? We date the sediment, yes. And so we have collected sediment to retrieve the organics from that to date. We also have a... We have also collected shells from every um, lens that we're sampling, and we will be able to date the shells and the organics in the sediment and compare those dates and really hone in on what time we have represented.